All right, let's get to these highlights. The Seattle Seahawks in the Cleveland Browns. Baker Mayfield passer rating 68.5. That's worse than the NFL second quarter. Browns looking to make something happen. The ball is tipped and intercepted by Tedrick Thompson. How about a little Ted talk right there? Hey, we're all listening, fella. I see you doing your thing. Mayfield, two interceptions in this game. Ten interceptions so far in 2019. Russell Wilson, though, he's having himself a season. He drops back. Who is he looking for? Corner end zone. Jerron Brown, as he takes a shot in the middle of the chest. How about this? Check out this hit. He rolls over, sees the touchdown, and starts banging on the ground like Michael Jackson on an old school video. Here we go, third quarter now. Seahawks trailing 2018 after a failed two point conversion. Russell Wilson, I guess, if Brown is balling, go back to Brown. Making something happen in the pocket, goes over the middle. Jerron Brown, that's a touchdown right there. Seahawks lead 25 to 20. Jerron Brown had two touchdowns on the day. Let's move along to the fourth quarter. Browns trail 25 to 20. Nick Chubb. Tell you what, man, I don't care if he's a rookie. You better start bringing up his name as one of the best backs in the business. Okay. He had himself a day. 20 rushes, 122, and two TDs. Big fumble for Chubb, though. Got Did you have one. That up. You're right. He's trying to do too much, Kyle. I know. That's pretty much all they have. Fantastic. All right, Seahawks are suing possession. Russell Wilson connects with Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett had five catches, 75 yards. Who are you going to give it to right here, though? Chris Carson. Carson's incredible again. You're right about that. 24 rushes, 124 in a TD. He's just so strong, so fast, big legs. He can run through anything. All right, next Browns possession. They're trying to make something happen. Ball tipped, intercepted. K.J. Wright comes down with it. Baker Mayfield, 37 attempts, 249 yards passing. He had a TD, but he had three interceptions. The Browns continue to struggle. The Seahawks, they are 5-1. and one. And Russell Wilson is for real, folks. Sure is. We had another great one in that window, and it was the Texans. Look at these two. Hey, if they, this is the matchup we get for a decade in the AFC, I'm not complaining. That is just awesome. Two guys, same draft class, obviously. Mahomes early looking. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding with that arm? Ah! Are you kidding with that guy? What the hell? Woo! Tyreek Hill with vertical like you just don't see. Jumps oh, up. my gosh. That is 40 and a half inches That's vertical wild. jump. That was what he had at his West Alabama Pro Day. Yeah. Oh, and he finishes it with strength. And he, and he just hasn't played in a month. He's got four guys on him. His shoulder looked just fine there. Chiefs and Mahomes loving it. 7 0. Mahomes, though, wasn't all great in this one. Here he gets Ooh. hit hard in that ankle. Oh, the ankle got hurt now three weeks in a row. He hurt it against the Colts again last week and then here, there. And he doesn't look the same necessarily. That's a sack, strip, fumble. This would be tough on Mahomes in the second quarter, and it would continue throughout the game. Here we go. Deshaun Watson, down a point, looking, looking. He runs. He goes for it. That's so Touchdown. smooth, man. So smooth. You're right. That's That's smooth. Texans would lead 23-17 at halftime. Fourth quarter, Texans ball. Trailing six. Check him out. Second and goal. Here we go. Trailing by a point. He's in. Touchdown. Deshaun Watson feeling it. Oh, great. Texans up a touchdown, fourth quarter, 5.20 left. Chiefs have the ball, down seven. Mahomes looking, spinning. This is what Mahomes does, right? Third and 13, looks for Blake Bell. Oh, no. Wouldn't happen. Stop with Mahomes, dude. Uh -huh. all the way there. You hear my voice? It's yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what's up with Mahomes. Chiefs have now lost two straight games at home to AFC South opponents. They are four and two. But the winners were the Texans and our very own James Palmer caught up with the star of the game, Deshaun Watson, afterwards. Uh, just really understanding uh, the whole concept of uh, what we want to do on the offensive side and what the defenses are really trying to do. Um, and just kind of, you know, slow the game down. Play it at my, my speed and not, you know, everyone else's speed. So, you know, just try to slow the game down, be as calm as possible, and, uh, you know, make the right decisions and take care of the ball when I can and, and um, you know, just kind of, you know, help the team win. The thing about Deshaun Watson is that he just wins. He's just a winner, and that's what he did, especially in the fourth quarter. They pulled away Deshaun Watson, taking the game over. No completions in his seven attempts, the game-winning rushing touchdown that proved to be the difference. Kyle Brandt, what did you learn in this one? Two four and two squads. A couple of things. First of all, you know, Twitter had a huge laugh and when the Houston Texans made the move for Laramie Tunsil, and what are you thinking, an overpaying? Woo! Two games in a row, Deshaun Watson's not been sacked. I think the, laugh, the last one goes to them. The other thing is, if you did not see this game, you just saw the highlight. Watson's receivers completely failed him yesterday, and he still won. What do I mean? Deshaun Watson was way better than the stats or the highlights say. Will Fuller, after turning into a national celebrity last week, 
couldn't catch the ball. He literally had three drop touchdown passes from Deshaun Watson. Oh. And then it got really crazy because DeAndre Hopkins also dropped one. So what I'm saying is Watson went into Arrowhead, beat the MVP, played really well, and played way better than his teammates around him. In this showdown, as Peter said, this could be the next Manning Brady. Watson won this one going away on the road. He was unbelievable yesterday, even when a day when his receivers couldn't catch. And so yeah. many penalties. I was like, are they a trying lot. to lose this game right now, Texans? And they still got the W. No doubt. I'm glad you brought that up about uh, Will Fuller because I was looking back at some quotes from when he came out. And this is uh, Lance Zerline's draft profile sure. in 2017. Hands can be wretched at times. Wretched. Body catcher with focus issues, lack of hand strength. And I remember – them talking about Will Fuller because I'm always fascinated by guys with speed. We just came off a set of highlights where Tyreek Hill, who was as fast as a cheetah, can mm -hmm. catch everything, mm -hmm. whether it's with his hands or body. Will Fuller is one of those individuals. He's the Tyreek Hill of this offense. When he plays Wells and catches Rock, we saw that last week. He has over 200 yards. But in this game, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, how much better, how much more accurate mm -hmm. can Deshaun Watson be? He couldn't. So I'm, what I'm saying is just like you're saying, if these receivers step up and make plays for Deshaun Watson – this team could be as dangerous as any in the NFL. I had the Chiefs as the number two team in my power rankings coming off a loss last right, week. Right, I right. said, number one, Patriots, still two, the Chiefs. It's just a blip. Don't worry. They, they might not be in the top five wow. anymore. Four and two with two straight home losses. And this one had all the buildup, right? It was all the buildup. We have Watson and Mahomes. Watson. The Chiefs are hurting right now. Their offensive line does not look good. I think their defensive line, it looks even worse. They can't stop the run. And every big moment, it seems like they're coming up short. And these are games at home. These are huge games at home. You talk about playoff implications. You talk about the Colts and the Texans, two teams who are going to see down the line in the playoffs. Tiebreakers, all that. Mm -hmm. You cannot lose home games if you're one of these elite teams. One is okay. Two in a row is unacceptable. Chiefs have problems. And they go with the Denver Thursday? Yeah. Guys, I'm not so sure I'm picking them to win that game. Mm -hmm. wow. That's a hard place to win. The Broncos have won two straight. Chiefs have to get right and get right quick. I feel like these are all the things we talked about and we're worried about in the offseason, right? Their run defense is bottom five. Their run offense is actually bottom ten. They only had 53 yards the entire game yesterday. Teams are running on them. Teams are playing keep away two weeks in a row now. They've got to clean it up. And they've got that one on Thursday night. You're right. Reigning MVP Patrick Holmes is going to try getting, you know, writing the ship, I guess. He's got his favorite offensive weapon out there. But... This guy and the Broncos, they're looking to defend their mile-high turf. It's Chiefs-Broncos Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern on NFL Network on Fox and streaming on Prime Video. Talking to Chiefs, it was Mahomes. Could it be Deshaun Watson? Could it be this cat? Tristan's crazy. That run was so cool. It was amazing. Video game. The other parts of the cat pack weren't so bad themselves. Oh, they all showed up. Everyone and but Jameis showed up. Hey, you feeling good about this one? How about the Jets? How about the bleeping chats on a Monday morning? What's up?